when people piss, uh, pitch me, uh, you know, messaging apps or whatever, I, my eyes usually glaze over. But this one caught my eye. It's called Emu, and it does all sorts of fun stuff as you text with your friends. And uh, we're gonna see it right now. And who are you? My name is Kirby Hafsasson. I'm the CEO of Emu, um, a small company that we just started. And I, my background is all in uh, AI and, and contextual um, technology. So I used to be at Google, uh, did a lot of the mobile mess. I'm sorry, the, uh, the mobile products, mobile maps, and then we moved into voice search and a lot of the speech recognition. And then eventually, I, after five years at Google, they decided to switch over to uh, Siri. So I was head of product at Siri, and then we got acquired by Apple. And uh, so I got to see a lot of that sort of uh, um, AI technology and mobile and contextual uh, sort of how that works together. And finally decided to, to kind of do something on my own and, and, and left Apple and started Emu. Very cool. Well, I, I love Siri. Siri <laughs> launched in my, bed, in my son's bedroom. By the oh, way. nice. <laughs> that was the first one to see it outside of you guys. Good. So, uh, and it, w it was certainly a life-changing product. Um, so why take on messaging? Because there's, there's like 50,000 different messaging apps and everybody's trying it's to, true. it's a very crowded space, right? Yep. There's WhatsApp and uh, I can't even name them all. There's mm -hmm. so many. Why go into that, into that extraordinarily crowded space? So I don't look at us as being a messaging. I mean, we're doing a messaging app. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, but the point is not that we're going to build another messaging app that you have to convince all your friends to go move into. Uh, the idea is that as you're texting with your friends, we actually bring uh, like an assistant into the conversation. So we want to build a messaging app that's actually really useful to actually do the conversation. So you talk about go to movies, we'll bring you movies that are showing nearby. You talk about go to a restaurant, we'll show you a restaurant, we'll help you book a table and things like that. Um, and it actually works over SMS. So we're not, I don't think of us as yet another SMS messaging app. We're just a better SMS app. And, and we provide that sort of uh, AI technology into the conversation. And right now you're on Android and we, and we probably should see it so people, because. Yeah. I know when I hear messaging app, it, my eyes glaze over. It's like, yeah, why, yeah, yeah. why do I need this? Isn't that something for my teenage kids? Exactly. You know? <laughs> Let's try to get some, uh, let get a demo going. So yeah. let's see if I can launch the app. And you're on Android only right now, right? Right now we're Android only. Actually, I'm going to okay. this out. And uh, let's see. should be yep. good. So let's see if uh, Dave can, can send us something interesting here. All right. And Dave's over there texting yeah. away. All right. And so what, 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 what's different about this? If you were sending Dave a, a text, what, what kinds of things could you do? So right now, app? I mean, both Dave and I are on the app. So what we can do is, is you'll, you'll notice as we do the, the, the conversation, we're just texting as usual. There's nothing yeah. really, I don't have to learn a new behavior. Uh, but what happens is the messages get analyzed by our natural language engine and are, and are, uh, and are sort of, they're analyzed in the context of the, uh, the user that's, that's having the conversation. Yeah. And now hoping that, the, yeah, there we go. So what we did here, we, we, we did the uh, um, analysis of the, of the messages. We figured out that you're talking about going out tonight at 8 p.m. So this piece got added on. Yeah, so that's, a, that's my calendar to, uh, tonight at 8 p.m. And you can see it has a little, little kind of opening up here. It says 8 p.m., so I'm free at 8 p.m. tonight. Okay. And so the, the, the point here is he asked me if I want to go out tonight at 8 p.m. Usually I would have to leave the conversation, check my calendar, and then come back again and say, yeah, sure, or no, I can't do it, or how about some other time? Right now, I know for sure that I can. So I can just say, um, sure, if this works. Yep. I don't know why it's not. It's just the, the old way. I can just say, sure, sounds good. Um, and I, I, I basically, I, I got the information that I needed without having to leave that conversation. That would be really interesting if uh, it pulled up open table. And uh, told you the restaurants near you well, that so, are open. Exactly. Tonight. So, so let, let's actually get, let's go halfway there. Let's see how far we can go. If, if they would just suggest a restaurant that we can go to. I All right. Ask him, like, where, where I don't know what restaurants are on an open table around here. Uh, uh, Flytrap is, uh, Zare Flytrap is right next door. I don't know if it shows you any restaurants. So now we're waiting for the message to come through. So anyways, it does stuff as you type to each other. What, what kinds of other things does it do? So let me, let me show you this. So, right. 
So this is an example. It, 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 uh, oh, <laughs> interesting. So this is a restaurant that doesn't have open tables. So what we show then is we give you the reviews from Yelp. We help you, you can get directions. You can call them. Uh, it gives you the cuisine that you have. Yeah. Uh, if it had open table and had an opening, we would actually show you the times. It would show you. it's available for two people because there's two people in the conversation. Um, wow. Where you can say, okay, I want to get it. So this is an example. So Abotel is, is free tonight at 7, 7.15, 8 p.m. and another times two. So I can just click through to open table and make the reservation right in the conversation. Again. And, and when you do that, does it send them a message saying, uh, meet not me? Yet, not yet. Not okay. yet. We definitely want to do that. Okay. <laughs> so it, it's early. This is coming out uh, in the, uh, what month are we in? October it will, 2013. It will be in the, in the, in the, towards the end of the October month, yeah. That's and what, what, other kinds of, uh, what other kinds of things will it pick up on when we're talking back and forth? So movies? Right now it's movies, restaurants, and time. So we're trying to think about it. We looked at a bunch of, of messages that people gave to us. So we sort of asked our friends to give us messages. And, and we looked at what are people talking about. So a lot of it is just chit-chat, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but a big chunk of it is what we call sort of real-time or near-time coordination, um, where people talk about, I want to go to lunch tomorrow, or I want to go out tonight, and I want to go to this place, or how about the other place, uh, or movies. So that's sort of, sort of the big area that we focus on right now. Um, and then we also get into that sort of near-time coordination. So if, if, if Dave texted me right now, where are you? We give you a one-click button to share my location back for 30 minutes. If I say I'm running late to a meeting, does it do something? Right now, we would just, in that case, allow you to show your lo location. Okay. Uh, it wouldn't, we wouldn't try to do anything more than that. But that's an example of, of something near time that we can maybe do something clever And about. it puts a map there? Uh, we can just show you how that is. So if, if they would text me now, where are you? Oh, he just texted me the map, okay. <laughs> <laughs> how did he do that? So he just, so what, I can, what I can, we can always do is t press this button here, yep. uh, which we call Marco Polo. And it will now share my location with Dave back for 30 minutes. And if in the app, you, can, you get this map that's live now, and it shows it's live. So this is his location for another 30 minutes. I can just tap on it, and it gives me the bigger map. But so if you, I mean, along the lines of you just figure out you want to go to lunch somewhere, yeah. we want to do something together. If you're running late, a very typical thing is like, where are you? Are you coming? Yeah. You want to send your location. Um, or I, I'm even proactive, right? I, you yeah. Know. I'm running late, yep, yep. and so I can just do the Marco Polo. I'm running late and put it in there. It's in the conversation. And, That's cool. And so it's very. So again, we we're focusing on that area. Uh, we have got a few other interesting things, um, like, and again, this goes into into sort of your uh, messaging, the contextual messaging yep. uh, aspect of it. So let's say I wanted to. He said well, you're free for dinner tonight. I don't want to answer that question right now. I want to check my account. I want to do something. I want to talk to someone, maybe my wife at home. Um, I just swipe and I can snooze the message. And I can say, look, send me this message again. Not day, but the system. Um, either first thing tomorrow, yeah. when I leave here, when I get home, or when I get to work. And we detect those things automatically where I live and where you work, obviously. So I want to say, okay, I want to get this message back again when I get home. And now I snoozed it on, and I will get it back again as a reminder. So this is very useful. Nice. I should chatting with people and you say, no, I, I got at the wrong moment. And it's not time-based only. It's actually more like time and location. I think okay. that's the key. Uh, so you can choose to get it when you get to a certain location. Now, what happens if you start uh, doing these things with somebody who has an iPhone or who doesn't have your mm -hmm. app? What, what happens on the other end? So for most of these right now, they would just get a regular text message. So you get the text as an SMS and, and they wouldn't even know that there's any difference. You still get all the benefits on your side with the app. But the other side uh, would just see regular text. We're thinking about adding things that would, so that you can send, like you mentioned, like you want to send back, like this movie sounds good, here's the trailer, when you take a look. Um, but there's also, if you share your location, instead of giving the map like this, we can't yeah. do that in, in regular SMS, so we just send the link instead. That's and really you just crazy. tap on the link. Um, where is this going? Because, <laughs> you, you know, you're just releasing the first version. Yeah. It's very, it's cool, but mm -hmm. it's rudimentary. Mm -hmm. When, how, you know, three years from now, five years from now, what, what is this going to do that it does, you know, so where are you going to take this company? I, I think this goes back to the to your original question, why messaging? I, yeah. it, it, it isn't just about messaging. And I think we learned what we did. I mean, first we're doing sort of rudimentary AI with speech recognition and sort of like components more so than anything else. And then we moved into like Siri where you, you try to take those components and you try to emulate a, a, a virtual assistant. Um, I think actually now we're realizing maybe that's not the right way to do it. 
the, the, the way to do it is to build the system into all these products. Um, so we're building now an assistant that can be integrated with a messaging application. But the idea is that's an assistant that will learn about you. You're not necessarily engaging this assistant. Are you building this as an API so that, like Mark Zuckerberg could <laughs> license it for his messaging? And we, we, so we don't have APIs right now. Um, and I actually always think that you build products first and then APIs. Uh -huh. But certainly if this works out and we see that we're able to build an assistant that can understand you as an individual and can integrate with the application, that's a platform, obviously. Yeah. So now you have an assistant. And I think the key is to be able to work with the same assistant in different applications. Because otherwise you lose all this value that you get by whatever you do in this app should be relevant to the other app and so on. Are, are you trying to learn about me from other apps that I've put data into? Like on Foursquare I've checked in, mm -hmm. I don't know, 2,500 times and there's a lot of value in knowing where I've been and where, what kinds of places I've checked into you know, so you can pre-populate yep. the answer. Are you thinking about how to use that data or? Right now know? we're not doing anything, okay. but I, I think you're getting along that sort of directionally, that's sort of where we would want to go, which is we're taking all this data on you and we're basically modeling you as an individual. Um, yeah. So we can then be more proactive about things that matter to you. Right. Uh, but in the context of you regularly using your apps, like you don't have to leave the app to talk to the assistant. The assistant's all with you in the application. If, if you ask about a place, yeah. are you marking that? like? Like let's say we're going to Napa and, and yep. we're texting back and forth. Hey, should we go to Camus? Should we go to et cetera Home? Should we go to Paradox? You know, or you'll probably say, "Oh, uh, Vic at Google tells me about Del Dotto. <laughs> I gotta go to Del Dotto and do the tour." <laughs> you know, is it is it doing some? Is it storing that in a database that we're talking about these three places? Yes. Well, we're, so we're storing it on two levels. So one level, we're storing your messages as long as you want to keep them. So yeah. those are your messages, and we store them just like we st like Google stores your email. Yeah. On um, another level, we're building models out of those things, uh, and those are not necessarily the messages per se. Yeah. But more like what have you done, and what's your behavior, and what can we learn from that, and what can that do on, for you as an individual, and what can that do for all of the users of the application. Yeah. So, so that's more of a modeling piece that that's happening in the background, uh, but those both of those things are happening. Because there's so many pieces of, of our data that we've sprayed into little apps. Like mm -hmm. I, I use Delectable to capture wine bottles. You know, yeah. when I have a, a good glass of wine, I take a picture of the bottle and I rate the mm -hmm. wine. And so after I don't know how many fifty bottles, it knows sort of my tastes, right? Yeah. And I, you could go call into that and say, "What's his favorite bottle of wine?" Right. And it could put it right in. And, right? And, I, and I think you should still use that app to to store the wine bottles you care about. Yeah. But if the assistant knew about that data, it could use that data in another, another context. So if you're looking for a restaurant, it could actually choose the restaurant based on your preference for wine and other things. And that's kind of neat. How far away is that? <laughs> is that two years away, five years away? Years away? <laughs> that's a Certainly question. in the next 10 years, we're going to oh, get yeah. something like that, right? I think, we're, yeah, I think the usual applies that we, 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 uh, we overestimate how much we can do in one year, but we underestimate how we can do in 10 years. So. Interesting. Yeah, this is a free app, or yeah, uh, free app. And so, how are you going to make money? <laughs> I have some guesses. But. No, no. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. We haven't decided on anything, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but, but certainly, anytime you're doing commerce, yes, like going to movies, right. buying, you know, going to restaurants, open table reservations, you, you should get a kickback yeah. from Open Table. I mean, know, that's even the whole if it's idea. a dime, yeah. it's mm -hmm. something. And if you get a hundred million people using this thing, adds those up. dime adds up. <laughs> 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 those dimes add up, right? Absolutely. Interesting. Um, wow, that's cool. Are you thinking about Google Glass at all? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, figured we'd ask that. Um, at the moment, no, we haven't. Uh, and actually, we've been sort of discussing also the watch. Like, should we do something yeah. about the watch? Yeah, Apple's uh, coming out with the watch. Yeah, Samsung already like has this. one. Google yeah. bought a company that does watches and wearables. I didn't know that about so, that. Okay. Yeah, they bought Wim Labs. We wow. interviewed them uh, a few I, years back, right? We, we were not, like, we're too small and too early to be able to kind of decide if we want to do something else. So right now, we're just building this tiny little app. So. Uh, how are you funded? We got, uh, we got a seed round funding, uh, we got Kleiner, um, Menlo Ventures, a Triple good. Point Capital, and a few other like... Smart ones. Good, good, good backing. Not, not, <laughs> not backwater VCs, these are good ones. Uh, I, I see it, and I get why they invest in you. Um, well, thank you.
Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Uh, this is really cool. I can't wait to see what's next. Sounds uh, good. <laughs> uh, this is yet. This, is, by the way, you're one of the few people who've shown me again cool stuff on Android first. Oh, nice. And I just visit. I just uh, spoke to Zillow and talked to their CEO, and they're seeing three times more users on Android, and wow. that's a huge shift in the last twelve months. That's good news. And the, the growth is white hot on Android and flat on iPhone. It's, it's still important because mm -hmm. all the San Francisco cool kids have iPhones. <laughs> like Rocky has a new iPhone, right? <laughs> but uh, uh, the numbers are starting to pass it by and that, and that is what entrepreneurs pay attention to, yep, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Well, cool. Thanks for coming out. Thank and you. Where do we get it, by the way? What do we search for? You can either search for Emu Messenger on the uh, on the Play Store, or you can go to emu.is slash download. Okay. Emu. Emu.is. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.